Hi, this is Bob Weiss. I'm the host of Shaking Your World. Cheers. Welcome home, folks. Yet another session in the Shaker's Kitchen here to shake your world with some non-Milwaukee cuisine. So, uh, I'm going to do some Brazilian-style octopus today, and you may wonder what makes it Brazilian-style. Well, obviously, it, it goes and it gets shaved. That's the first thing for a Brazilian. The second thing is that we use our Piri Piri oil. Piri Piri is a Portuguese pepper oil. It's uh, used throughout the world. As the Portuguese circumnavigated the world, they picked up bits and pieces of different cultures. Part of that is the Angola chili peppers that are used in this, the Pili Pili. But this is one of the most versatile products that is in the marketplace. And this, of course, is our iteration of the Babalu's Piri Piri. You can use this as a sautéing agent, which is what we're going to do, but it's also useful just to smear on your bagels or toast in the morning. It's lovely, but you can cook everything with this. Any application that you have for an oil or a butter, any type of fat or medium like that, this is perfect. So today what I'm gonna do is use this for the octopus, just as you would in Brazil. Now, I showed you this in a different video. We take the cork, this is the Portuguese method, put the cork in boiling water, let that set up for a moment, and then the octopus itself gets dipped inside of that octopus, which we've had marinating, by the way, in Piri Piri as well. Just gonna saute this here. Real simple, I'm gonna get some banana chilies in there. You can use whatever chilies are fresh. These came from the farmer's market. Um, I like the flavor profile, these are the mild complexion. They're not as hot as a jalapeno would be. Um, we do have, of course, the pepper oil taking place in the Piri Piri. I just want to boost it up a little bit. So I'm taking some Serrano chili peppers that are a little hotter than a jalapeno. So between these two, we're going to have a real nice contrast going on. Garlic. Again, I like to smash my garlic first. It's uh, exhilarating. A little salt and pepper. And then I got these lovely little grape tomatoes, again, fresh from the farmer's market. And a few different colors. The more opportunity to get more colors into something, the better the dish is going to look. A little oregano. And this is actually a Thai chili. I'm really a favor of chili peppers. Not necessarily for heat, but for just the multi-tiered flavors that you get from these things. So we have three fresh chilies right there that are going to go along with the tomatoes, with the octopus in this Piri Piri oil. So again, as we did this just the other day, I'm gonna take the octopus, I'm gonna dip it quickly in the water. And the old tradition throughout the Mediterranean is you dip it three times and you're gonna get these just beautiful little um, curls that will take place with this. So that's not necessarily so integral to this dish, but that is how you do any of your preparations. So, an octopus in. The protein seeds up a little bit along with that cork. Now again, we've had this pre-marinating. You will probably want to uh, cook this for a longer period of time when you do this for your family, for your friends. Don't let your garlic scorch, so keep that in motion as well. Like needles in a haystack, we're uh... <laughs> All right. So at home you would have been, again, boiling this longer than I am just because these are pre-marinated. So I don't want the fluid in there. Just our octopus into our hot pan. At this one, take some green tomato. This is a little bit of a, again, non-traditional approach for Brazil, but it's lovely. And really, I can't stress enough that when you have the opportunity to have fresh produce, even though it might be a little bit outside the norm, 
It's just gonna add so much flavor, such a beautiful boost to everything. So, all these ingredients are together in the saute pan. From this point, I'm gonna put it in a hot oven and let it set up for a little while. And we'll see you in about 10 minutes, and I'll pull it out, and then we will do our presentation. All right, so we've got a couple of minutes in here. We're cooking this at 600 degrees, and this is baked very nicely. Obviously, it's a very hot pan. I'm going to take the two dried chilies out of here. Take one of those guys on the side. It's a nice looking guy. Again, we're using baby octopus. You can use all grown up octopus if you want to use as well. So this is one of those things that would be extraordinary with some crusty bread. There we have it, Brazilian style octopus at Shakers. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this and any questions, give us a call at Shakers, send us an email and please do subscribe. Cheers.